Okay, I've had a request to do some more videos outside, so here I am. A uh, bit more canal side. What a risk of my camera actually falling in the canal. <laughs> um, do Filipinas find old guys attractive? Um, I know somebody else brought this up recently on a, another channel. Uh, if it was your channel, please feel free to plug it. But my personal viewpoint is not at day one. Uh, I would say Filipinos, Filipinas generally want responsible guys. They're family orientated. They're from a Catholic religion that creates the family uh, bubble environment. You know, have kids, woman looks after the house, etc. Guy is supposed to be responsible, bill payer. Um, and a lot of the time they can't get that locally. A lot of the guys are financially unreliable. They're drunkards, they're womanizers, or they simply can't make the money. Uh, let's be honest, the Philippines is not exactly bustling full of uh, the cash flow for the majority of Filipinos. So this is where, you know, expats can often fill the niche of some of these women that actually want more in life. Is it wrong? Well, I would say no, as long as the people are sensible about it. But I would also say over time, the person actually grows fonder of their uh, older husband. Um, it's, there's nothing really wrong with it. The only time it is wrong is when it's done completely for the wrong reasons, which is normally uh, they're an expat's an abusive wife beater, or the woman's a uh, gold digger that's purely there for financial gain. Because a lot of the guys, I know I hammer a lot of the expats, but a lot of the guys are actually good guys. Um, I wouldn't say more than half, <laughs> I would certainly say less. But I would say that the majority don't go out their way to uh, mistreat their partners. I would say that they have a definite interest in the relationships. I would say that the majority of expats know they're going to die. They know they're going to uh, be outlived by their partner. And often this second lease of life is um, thought about where basically the expat dies, the wife inherits XYZ and then they marry again and find out somebody of their own age group etc. Is it right or wrong? I would say if both people are happy and okay it may not be uh, the, the dream relationship but the important thing here is happiness. Um, where I do find it's a bit odd is when you get like a very young female with a very old guy. For me, it doesn't matter what people say, it's just not normal. You know, if, you've, if you're dating 19 and you're 65, you know, a 19 year old girl um, is mentally underdeveloped as well as many other things. Personally, the, you know, and I say for personally, I don't, it's not that I find it vulgar, I just don't find it um, morally acceptable for myself. Um, other guys may find it acceptable, but you know, I'm not getting into that argument. But could you complain that a 19 year old uh, that you bought a house for and everything else next year decides to ditch you, take you for the house and everything else? I would say, well, it's your own fault. You pick somebody that wasn't mature enough to even see the relationship for anything more than just cash game. Um, so yeah, but uh, the, the other important thing here is at day one that relationship doesn't exist. At day 35 it won't exist. Over a period of time you live together. You know, even with friends, you know what, you know, some people you would not um, befriend naturally. You become friends because you work together, you've been in uh, certain things together. It's the same with these relationships. 
at day one they don't know you but a year later they know your sleeping habits they know what you eat they know pretty much most about your life um, from the time that you spent together that's what builds a relationship that's what builds trust that's what builds uh, people being people and that's something that's often overlooked they assume like day one we're, we're, we're happily married no <laughs> a year later you're either gonna know you're happily married or living the life of hell um, that's why I say there is nothing that says you need to get married in the Philippines I'd much rather women and guys spend more time finding somebody they're really compatible with uh, me and my wife like cooking we like traveling we like uh, eating out we like most things except politics <laughs> you know I like the politics my wife doesn't like talking about it but you give and take my life what lives my wife likes watching Alda at the moment it's I can't do Philippine TV most of the time um, it's just not for me but then again in fairness I don't do Spanish TV or UK TV I just generally don't like TV I find it's too dumbed down for the majority of people these days or maybe I'm missing something all right thanks for watching